bloody public exhibitions. The fight's popularity grew with the brutality. Soon, Leandri discovered that the public matches were the most profitable enterprise. Welcome to Domination Combat Training. This tutorial will instruct you on the basic gameplay rules of Domination. Tutorials on Deathmatch, Capture the Flag, and Assault are also available. Let's start by learning about the elements Domination adds to the Heads Up display, or the HUD. Domination enhances the basic team play HUD by adding control point status indicators to the right side of your screen. As you can see, there are two control points in this tutorial map. We'll discuss the function of control points shortly. Each indicator shows the name of a control point and that control point's current status. Every control point in a Domination map has a unique name. These control points are named Alpha and Gamma. The icon next to the control point name displays the status of that location. Before I explain how these icons work, let's discuss the rules of domination. In domination, each team is trying to control and hold the level's control points. A team is given one point every 10 seconds for each location they control. This is a control point. The gray X symbol indicates that no team is in control of this location. To take control of a location, touch it. Do this now. Good. Your team now controls this location. Notice that the shape and color of the control point has changed to reflect your team symbol and color. Look at the control point status icon. Notice that the gamma point icon has changed to indicate your team is in control. You can use these icons to quickly assess the state of a domination game. Now find and control the alpha point to secure your domination of this map. Excellent. You control all of the points on this map. When you touch a control location, that point's status icon counts down. When the counter disappears, your team will begin scoring. In summary, each team must locate and capture certain points in a domination map. The more locations a team controls, the faster their score increases. It's time for a test. I'm going to spawn two bots on the enemy team and one bot to assist you. The first team to gain 20 points wins. Good luck.
In 2291, in an attempt to control violence among deep space miners, the new Earth government legalized no holds barred fighting. Leandri Mining Corp. Welcome to Capture the Flag Combat Training. This tutorial will instruct you on the basic rules of CTF. Tutorials on deathmatch, domination, and assault are also available. Let's start by learning about the Heads Up Display, or HUD. CTF adds a few new elements to the HUD you should be aware of. Notice that your frag count indicator is now represented by a red skull instead of a white one. This means that you are on the red team. A blue skull would indicate that you are on the blue team. The two flag icons indicate the status of the red and blue flags. This allows you to obtain a quick overview of battlefield conditions. We'll discuss the meaning of each flag status icon in a bit. Just to the left of each flag status icon is that team's score. Now let's look at the elements CTF adds to the scoreboard. Capture the Flag uses the standard Unreal Team Play scoreboard configuration. The left column lists the red team players and scores, and the right column lists the blue team players and scores. Notice your name and current score of zero listed to the left. Above your name is the name of your team. Your team's current score is listed to the right of the team's name. When a player in a CTF game is carrying the flag, a small dot will appear next to their name in the scoreboard. This can be used to quickly determine which teammate to protect or which enemy to hunt down. Now it's time to learn the rules of Capture the Flag. Each CTF map has a red and a blue base. This is red base. Blue base is just down the hallway. Each base contains a flag. In front of you is the red flag. The object of CTF is to capture the enemy team's flag while defending your own. Let's give it a try. Run to the blue base and touch their flag to pick it up. Grab any equipment you find along the way. Now you have the enemy flag. The flashing yellow message is to remind you that once you have the flag, you need to return it to your base to score. Notice the blue team flag status icon changed. Now it indicates that a red team player is in possession of the flag. Blue team is in trouble. Take the flag back to your base and touch the red flag to capture the blue flag and score. Great job! You captured the enemy flag and scored a point for your team. Wasn't so hard now, was it? It's about to get harder. In a few seconds, I'm going to spawn two blue team bots and a red teammate you can practice with. There's one last status icon to tell you about. If a player drops the flag while carrying it, his team's flag status icon will change to a flag lying down. If you find your flag lying on the ground after you kill an enemy who was carrying it, touch it to automatically return it to your base. This concludes the CTF tutorial. Let me spawn those practice bots for you. Good hunting!
Welcome to combat training. This tutorial will instruct you on the basic